Um, I'm sorry that I look like poo right now. I just went to hot yoga. Um, I am trying to eat healthier, as you can tell with my last videos, um, with apple cider vinegar and uh, all the other supplements I've been using. Um, so I kind of was like, I need another video. I haven't really filmed for a while. So um, I'm already kind of halfway through this um, soup I'm making. Um, it's hot and sour soup. I'm making it from scratch. I actually found it off um, this app called Yummy. Uh, let me see. Actually, it's on my phone and I'm using my phone camera because my actual camera is dying with battery and I can't find a charger at the moment. So, phone camera it is. So, sorry for the crappy video. Anyways, um, it's called Yummy. Found it on the app store and it shows some awesome ingredients. So, like, say that you have chicken in the fridge and you have nothing else to go with it or you do have stuff and you just don't know what to do you can try and do different things um, with it um, the first ingredient like the first um, food that popped up was hot and sour soup so I thought hmm might as well do it since my throat has been sore for a while um, it actually just started yesterday so I'm really hoping it is allergies because uh, I cannot afford to take a sick sick day. I'm on probation right now for work since I'm new and I don't get paid for sick days at the moment. So I am trying to bum up my immune system. Yay! Um, and uh, so I'll show you what I got right now. Sorry, that was just my stove that's beeping. Um, I already started making the broth with some mushrooms in it. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like. <clears throat> That's what it is. This is, um, I kind of doubled the amount because it serves four, but like my husband's pretty hungry. So I have chicken broth in there, some chicken stock. So I have, um, 14 and a half ounces of chicken broth in, uh, times two. Um... And then I have two large eggs and mushrooms. I also added some rice vinegar and rice vinegar and uh, what else did I put in? Corn starch. Uh, it's in the closet right now. So I got corn starch also. It uh, the corn starch actually thickens broth. So if you don't have chicken stock or um, you just want a thicker broth, use cornstarch, it works perfectly. So, this is already boiled, the mushrooms are already cooked. Um, I put all those ingredients that I said together and in here. Um, now I just need to add the tofu and the ginger. So I went out, the things that in the soup is, like I said before, is the vinegar, the broth, the eggs, and the mushrooms right now. Um, I'm sorry I didn't film that from the beginning. I just kind of got bored and I was like, hey, I haven't done a video for a while, so I might as well film. So that is why this first half is already done, but next time I do a new um, new recipe, I will for sure film it. And hopefully I'll find my charger from a camera, because then it'll be a better quality of a video. So I have, oh yeah, I also added in um, chopped red peppers. Um, I kind of did not know what that meant, so I actually bought red peppers and my husband chopped it up for me, but I'm not going to add it because I found the actual, like, seasoning, um, inside my closet. Um, so I have to add in the ginger and the tofu. So the tofu is, um, 7 ounce. The mushroom is 8 ounce by times that one by 2. I don't usually like tofu, so I'm just going to add in a little bit. Um, and then the ginger's like, I think it's like a tablespoon of ginger because it gives him like the kind of the spice. Um, but I really hate ginger also, so I might just do a little bit of it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it right now, so I will add these in really fast and then I'll show you. Alright, um, let me just do that. I just need to add the tofu. They said to put this off off the stove so I've been cooking for about let me see what time it is. Um
literally it's been like 18 minutes so it's okay so I'm gonna turn it off may cool it down a little off the stove um they want me to add the tofu so I think I might have to wait for a bit to add the tofu in um the tofu I'm mostly putting in because my husband likes it he loves tofu and I hate it the most so yeah Never be a vegetarian or vegan because, you know, me and tofu is disgusting. <sighs> and sorry if you can hear the TV right now, I'm watching American Dad. I have not actually seen it, so I have nothing else to watch. I've seen everything else on Netflix. So I was like, okay, my smile. Well. Let's watch it. Um, so yes. I will add in the, uh, the tofu now. Is added. Um, I forgot to say that I also have green onion that I need to add. Um, good reminder is that for green onion, they soften so fast. So if you want to put green onion in soup, um, put it in last so you can have a little bit of the crunch into it. Now ginger. I think I might just do a half a teaspoon because ginger is disgusting. Alright, I'm going to put you guys down for a second. Okay, so I am going to grab the ginger, so they said to um, just smush it with a spoon um, just to get the juice out and put it in. That's not working, so I'm just gonna put all in. That is a half a tablespoon of ginger. Um, I've been using tablespoons, um, one tablespoon and the half a tablespoon um, with this ingredient. Doesn't really seem much about teaspoons. So that's about it. Um, but yeah, I have to add in the mush, the green onions. So if you don't know what green onions is, this is it, all chopped up. They're usually in soups. Um, yeah, so I will actually give it a try before I put the green onion in to tell you guys what it tastes like, and then I can stop this video and add on YouTube. Alright, let's see. I'm nervous, guys. I may have put in sour soup before, but I used to use, um, bamboo shoots, and that tastes really good with it. But I ran out of bamboo shoots, so this is all I got. Actually, really good. Um, but to be honest, it kind of tastes like chicken soup. So, yeah, that's good. That's a good plus. Um, this yummy app that I'm talking about is um, it just says it says it's called Yummy, but it's Yum on the little app symbol. Um, these things have ingredients. Um, like I said before, if you have like chicken and other stuff that you don't know what to do with it, it'll tell you how to do with that. But not only that, is that if you don't know what to cook for dinner and you see a picture and you loved it, you click on that, you look at the ingredients, if you don't have the ingredients, you push the little plus sign beside it, and it'll go into a shopping list. And with that shopping list, you can go out and actually find the ingredients that you want, like the actual one that you want, instead of going through back and forth of this um, ingredients to keep reading it. And then once you're done getting it into your cart, you just push yes, the checks and it will be done and they will be like yeah you got all the ingredients and then you go home and you look up the directions and it will just show you there's also videos there too to show you how to do things um so yeah that's the app all right so this soup was a success and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i am so sorry that it's cut short um because i just realized that i should have done it earlier and i did not so the next time i start cooking i will for sure film i am so sorry you guys if you like this video please subscribe Give it a thumbs up, mostly a thumbs up if you like it. 
Um, if you do want to see more videos of cooking, of traveling, and uh, whatever I do, everyday life challenges like the apple cider vinegar, please subscribe. And please, please, please subscribe. Anyways, um, I hope you guys have a good rest of the night. I am just going to cook and go to bed. Um, tomorrow I actually have, I'm doing a bonfire outside my yard. Um, it's not really a bonfire, it's just gas, gas, propane, propane. Um, and just gonna roast marshmallows. So if I cook dinner tomorrow, I will for sure film it for you guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, and I hope that you have, like I said before, a great day tomorrow, today, whatever. Have a good night's sleep and I'll see you later. Love ya. Bye.